What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. Just woke up from a nap and they are here. Let's check it out. Ooh. Wonderful. Alright guys, so these are my 17 by 6.5 inch barrels made by VR Wheels. Build quality is amazing. These are a 36 hole which also correspond with the VSXX's. We have a hole here for the valve stems. Wonderful. And I made sure that they all lined up. So here we are. So we got the 17 by 3 inch lip with the half inch face with the 17 by 6.5 inch barrel which makes it a nice 17 by 10 with a higher offset so these are sure to clear and I can have a nice tire stretch on them too and a good way to measure a three piece wheel you'll measure right just under the lip edge here and then right under the barrel edge there So right there, just at about 10 inches. Wonderful. All right, everybody, welcome back to Building the Ice 101. So with three-piece wheels, of course, you'll have your lip, your face, and your barrel. Depending on your hardware, you'll have your M7 bolts here with your M7 nut here. The head stud here is a going to be a nine millimeter and this nut here will be a 10 millimeter you also have your nine degree valve stem cap with an allen wrench I forgot what size this is you will also need rubbing alcohol with some cotton balls to sanitize your surface so that the silicone adhesive will stick better and that you'll rub on the barrel the inner and outer face of the face and also around the edges of your lip. So I can't find my cocking gun or my silicone so I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot, buy some, pick some up, but I'll be right back. What is up everybody? So just made it back home. Got our silicone here from Home Depot. This is the same stuff I used last time. Does pretty good. Uh, I think that brand's L, yeah, LG, um, good for metals. And I also just went ahead and bought a, another caulking gun. God bless, all right, so let us begin again. All right, so first we're going to clean off the rim here on the lip and faces and barrels with the rubbing alcohol. All right, now that your faces are clean, edges are clean, You'll lay a nice bead of silicone on the outer of the barrel and then the inner backside of your face. All right guys, got a nice layer of silicone throughout the barrel and along the face. All right guys, got lip and barrel and face all seated. Looking good. Next we'll put our hardware in Tighten them down to 26 pounds, and then do a nice bead of silicone between the sandwich here. All right guys, got all of these bolts torqued down to 26 pounds. Also lay down some masking tape on the lip and barrel and hit the sandwich style with a nice bead of silicone. I'm gonna lay here for a day and then tomorrow hit it again with another bead of silicone to guarantee it'll seal. Next, I will plug up this hole here. So I'm gonna put silicone on the black part here, on the, which goes on the bottom, and then also on the top here, just to guarantee that it will not leak. What is up, everybody? So, it took about an hour and 30 minutes. I was just taking my time, because I don't want these things to leak, nor do I want to have to mount a tire, find out it's leaking, and then unmount the tire and redo the wheel. But I got one wheel done, 
like I mentioned, I'm gonna let this cure, and then when I come home from work, I'm gonna throw another bead of silicone on it. And then tomorrow I will also do this wheel. I'll recheck all the hardware. And then same goes for this guy. And then Saturday morning, afternoon, I will throw the tire on these bad boys. So this is pretty much going to be the stretch 205 on A10. There was like a sliver of barrel showing. And this guy here has not even been leaking. It is a solid ass tire. So I'm very happy with my build quality. But guys, I'm gonna get some sleep because I got work in the morning. It's gonna be a busy weekend, so see you when I'm off. What is up everybody? Just got home from work. Just worked another 10 hour day and I am exhausted. But today we're gonna finish this wheel now. Um, letting this guy cure. It's been a, almost a, a full 24 hours. So far so good, everything looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and throw another bead of silicone on it. And if you guys can tell, this is um, white silicone. I thought I messed up, but it's still 100% um, silicone. It's just a white color base for, say like tile or some shit. But you just wanna use either black, clear, or white will work too, as long as it adheres to metal. You should be fine. But everything is looking good. Got the valve stem too. And remember guys, just put a little bit of silicone on the rubber grommet on the inside and outside. Oh, you can see in there, other rubber grommet as you tighten the valve stem down just to ensure a nice seal. But let's go ahead and spend another hour and a half building these bad boys. All right guys, just got my surfaces all nice and clean. I also would recommend you wearing a shirt you don't care about. I've already splooged a bunch of silicone and all that good stuff on my shirt. So now I'm just gonna throw a nice bead of silicone on the barrel here and then the outer lip of the face and then we'll put the silicone on the outside of the lip and then we'll mount that on the inside of the face here. All right guys, got the lip, face, and barrel all nice and siliconed up. Next I will go ahead and put in all the hardware and torque them down to 26 to 28 pounds. Flip it over, mask the lip and barrel off so that the face crevice here is exposed and then lay down a nice thick bead of silicone and we will be good to go. Alright guys, just finalized all of the bolts. This is a pretty ass wheel, goodness. Just got the year old file sim on. Little focus, you can see that bead of silicone. Um, guess not, sorry. But put a bead of silicone on the rubber gaskets there. Grommets. There we go. Cool. Um, also, probably tonight, I'm just gonna order more um, gel caps. These are pretty easy. Just hit it with a heat gun. And then you can just pop that bitch out like so. So right now, I'm gonna lay down my masking tape and then throw a nice thick bead of silicone down. And this whole wheel will be good to go. Like I said guys, I cannot wait to get these seated properly on the Prelude. I know for sure these will fit the rear. For the front, when I mount these, it's gonna be a nice tight fit because this is still a 10, a 17 by 10. And I'll mount a 205 on it. And as you can see from my last set I mounted, there was like a pinch of barrel lip showing here. So when I air out, it should sit right in there, especially with how much I have them pulled. What is up everybody? So I think it's this wheel. All right, got it all nice and sealed, all 360. Here's the first wheel we worked on yesterday. Just double checked all the hardware. Again, through a second bead of silicone down. So when I remove the masking tape, it should be a nice, clean bead. Same goes for this guy. And probably in about a couple hours, I'll throw another bead down. Just to be sure, because tomorrow after work, 
I'm gonna go and get these bad boys mounted. I'm so stoked. Incredibly stoked actually, because I know for sure that these are going to fit. All right, awesome. But I hope you guys all learned how to build three-piece wheels. And I know some of you it's a good review. But so far so good, we'll know if I did a successful job or not when I get the tire mounted and if it holds air or not. But on that note guys, I'm not gonna end the vlog just yet because we are gonna get the tires mounted to the wheel and then mount them to the Prelude and see how she fits and then we'll end it there. So again guys, thank you for sticking around. I will see you tomorrow. What is up everybody? It is the next day. I'm getting sick. Let's jump into it. Just got off of work. I actually just woke up from a nap. What is up Prelude? Today you are, hopefully everything works out. We'll have the new wheels set here. We got these girls all nice and cured. Bead looking hella clean. Hardware and face looking hella clean. Other wheel looking good. We got the tires in the trunk. You know how it goes. So, pretty much guys, we're going to head to Machi, get those tires mounted to those wheels, get them all balanced too, and then come home and take everything apart. So, super stoked guys, but well, see you at Machi. What's up guys? You know where we're at, home base. What is up everybody? Just made it back home. Just want to say a big thank you to Machi Tire. He said, no, thank you for keeping me in business. Thank you for sending all your friends out and keeping me in the business. It means the world to him and thank you local viewers or anybody local in Tucson. Well, I guess that's local viewers that go to Machi and support his business. It means the world to him and means the world to me. So my mounting and balance was absolutely free because of all the business I gave him. So again, Machi, if you watch these, thank you so much, man. Um, I'll probably just buy another set of wheels just because, just so I can get some tires mounted by you. But without further ado, guys, the Bayzacs are so pretty. I checked all the hardware. We double checked. <clears throat> Just everything, we sealed it real good. I didn't hear anything leaking. And he said everything is like really good so far. But the stretch is perfect. Again, this is a 205 40 on a 17 by 10. Same with this side. This side is really good too. Really happy with the quality. So I'm gonna go wash up real quick and then get started mounting these bad boys. Ooh, look at this. All right. Ooh, so we already know, you know, it's a front view. It could be deceiving, but boom. This is beautiful. This is perfect, guys. Because with my um, five inch barrel and four and a half inch lip, this little Johnny was literally like right here. But you can see here. Oh my God. So let's check out that um, knuckle clearance. You can see that. So that's aired up um, pretty high. I'll check it again, slowly lower it with my um, eight degrees camber. I Hopefully I won't hit it, but as long as I don't hit it while I'm driving, everything should be kosher. But guys, so stoked, so stoked. Ooh. Now I'm gonna knock out this side and then we'll lower her. All right guys, so I just got the driver's side on. Good fit, looking really good. Man, these look really small compared to my OEM blades with that meaty ass tire. 
Ooh, all right guys, moment of truth. Take the e-brake off, lower the car, and then air her out slowly. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy. Oh my god. That's fucking perfect. Oh my god, guys. Holy shit. Guys, I'm, I'm so happy right now. Finally, but like I mentioned, these are actually for my own front. But um, I checked the barrel clearance to the knuckle and they're still like literally two and a half inches from the barrel from the knuckle. So that's awesome. And like I said, uh, six and a half inch barrel, three inch lip. So for sure, for sure, when I get that um, three and a half inch lip, it'll sit hella flush. Super soaked. Thank you guys for, thank you for the prayers. This shit is so sick. I think I'm actually going to potentially wash the prelude right now. I don't know, I think I owe it to her. It's been like, now it's been like two months. Beautiful guys, that's so sick. Just wait until I have that fender to lip fitment in the rear with my new set and then the fender to lip fitment a front but it's gonna be a weird flex but okay until you know how it goes three piece sends out my new lips and barrels so i'll be running the rezax right now and the stock prelude blades so sick guys all right guys so put the center cap on there we go perfect man what i should have done is got Went to my original plan and had the uh, hardware powd uh, powder coated um, fuchsia or raspberry. And I wish I can, I wonder if I can get this custom made so that this gold ring here is also raspberry. But for sure soon I'm gonna order new um, gel caps because these are all gassed out. But guys, looks so good. I don't know, I think it's, the rear is missing something in my opinion. Maybe like the, um, the window spoiler, I was, I've always been a fan of those. I still need to order my rain guards. So I think the rain guard and the roof spoiler is what I'm missing. I do have the OEM wing, but I don't know. I do like that sleek look for the trunk. And I've never really been a fan of the um, Prelude duck bills. Just doesn't fit in my opinion. But super stoked on how these came out. All right guys, uh, another thing. So this is my current ride height. I definitely, actually that might work, but these are airless um, air sleeves. I mean, they're pretty stiff, but they're not as stiff as my AirTech Slim Bellows I have built over my um, old coilovers. So until then, I'm gonna have to drive up a little bit higher and then get the alignment for that ride height because I do not want to eat through these tires <laughs> and definitely don't want to risk de-beating. But I'm also going to buy those um, digital monitor tire sensor reader I found off of um, Drift Cave. So it's pretty sick. Guys, oh my God, super content. Can't wait to get the front mounted. All right guys, but I think I'm actually gonna cut the video here. <clears throat> My battery's dying and I think I've done enough hand transitions in this vlog. But guys, again, thank you seriously so much for all love and support. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm almost to my monetization goal and every view, every like, every subscription counts. But as always guys, thank you for all the love. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And as always, aim high, drive low. We'll see you next time, take care.